All right, everybody, this is uh, JT. Uh, I just want to show you something real quick. I had a discussion with a family member of mine this morning, and uh, I had also heard from a good friend of mine uh, about the Olympics and this mockery of the Last Supper. And I, was, I have not watched any of the Olympics. I believe I saw a little bit on ESPN. Uh, the men's basketball but other than that I have I don't care um, but what does need to be discussed in the mockery and you know what I see on like I don't have social media but uh, my family has uh, Facebook some people in my family have Facebook and I understand what Facebook is it's actually the F on Facebook is actually the two ball cane. If you look up uh, masonry two ball cane, that's the F. And uh, two ball cane was a descendant of Cain um, in the Bible in the book of Genesis. It is the uh, it is the uh, line of Cain. It is the serpent uh, race. And uh, this is all Masonic Luciferian. Okay, but the social media, a lot of people get very. Uh, upset when people do not view reality the same way they do and then uh, they get offended and then they start lashing out that is what the serpent does okay and that is the serpent in you that gets you offended you're not living in the spirit and uh, not uh, you know seeing things for what they really are and seeing tr the, rea tr the reality for what it really is uh, and uh, I saw it just it's this has caused a lot of uh, conflict okay so you have this uh, picture this painting that was done by Leonardo da Vinci Leonardo da Vinci was illuminated uh, I believe Leonardo da Vinci had a homosexual uh, lover and that is actually uh, his name was a uh, bourgeois I forget his first name it's been a really long time uh, since I've you know uh, come across this information but uh, his last name was bourgeois and that I believe is the um, the image that is used for the modern day uh, portrayal of the Lord Jesus Christ that they give to the blind sheep the goyim the masses okay and that is why so many people fall for these things because we know that uh, the true uh, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth and his name wasn't Jesus because there was no J in Hebrew. I believe his name was Yeshua or Yahusha. Um, and that may not even be true. Uh, you know, when we go to the book of, uh, or the Gospel of John, it says in the beginning was the Word and the Word was with God and the Word was God. Maybe his name was the Word in Hebrew what's the word in Hebrew you know we've been lied to about everything and you can't you know you cannot believe anything you're told until it's uh, confirmed to you by the spirit of the living God okay from the uh, Ruach Kodesh um, you know the spirit of truth spent sent from the Father in heaven uh, through the, the uh, true uh, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth um, delivered from the spirit of the living God but anyways let's get to this so uh let's start and I haven't really uh I haven't even analyzed these pictures yet but I'm gonna go through this and just know that I have not even seen seen this I've legitimately looked at it for a total of like probably 15 seconds okay uh, I actually just had to uh, take two screenshots of this picture and the last picture of the original uh, Lord's Supper uh, painted by Leonardo da Vinci and uh, we're just going to go through this real quick, okay? So we see a lot, uh, diverse culture. Uh, we see uh, people dressed uh, scantily clad, okay? We see the uh, this uh, person. Um, looks like their body's painted in blue. Uh, I would believe in a lot of... Uh, I don't know if that's the Hindu religion, where they have the blue gods, okay? Like Krishna and uh, Brahma and uh, Shiva... Um, but I will tell you, uh, this represents the, uh, the fallen because when I used to astral project, uh, through the method of smoking dimethyltryptamine, DMT, uh, 
these people, these, I can't really call them people, these entities, they live up there and they shape shift, okay? These are the fallen angels. That is a fallen angel, okay? This person in blue uh, that lives in the waters above or the ethereal realm, okay? Uh, you know, this is what happens when you astral project. You are hanging out with fallen angels, fallen entities in the abyss, okay? We are in the abyss. Uh, they call the earth a cornucopia, the fruit of the earth, okay? We are the fruit. We are the food for Leviathan, okay? The dragon in the waters above, as hard as that may uh, seem to comprehend, okay? You've been lied to about everything. We live in a biodome. Uh, go to Genesis 1.1. 1, 1. There are waters above, and there is a water serpent up there named Leviathan. That is the one that swallowed Jonah, okay? So you have this food, okay, down here. This is the cornucopia, Okay, and this is the dome over it. Okay, just like the earth, the, the firmament. Okay, and uh, what they're doing is they're harvesting our light, and then Leviathan eats our light. Light is the currency in the abyss because they are cut off from God, and we're fruitful and we multiply, and we're light, making more light, making more light, making more light. They have no light from God. They have no word, no frequency, no spoken word from God, the source of life, of light, the tree of life. They're making their own tree of life out of Adam. The tree of knowledge of good and evil, the serpent can only eat from the dust of the ground. The dust of the ground is Adam. Adam was made from the dust of the ground, okay? Uh, please uh, read your Bible with this sermon and ask the Holy Spirit of living God to uh, discern it for you so you can understand these things. So you have this culture, uh, it's everybody. You see white, black, all different ethnicities, the whole world being brought together, one world, one religion, uh, one world ruler, one you know, world leader. Uh, you know, uh, God is love, and they're going to say, Jesus is love, Jesus is love, Jesus wasn't his real name, they call the Antichrist Jesus, okay, so when you're saying Jesus, when you pray in the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name, my prayers do get answered, the Father hears me, he knows we've all been lied to and deceived, and if there's only one name under heaven that can that you can be saved by, what do you think Satan's going to do, you think Satan's going to allow you to know that name, if you've been lied to about absolutely everything, Jesus wasn't his name, okay, uh, so you have this uh, person back here that is the light bearer, same as the Statue of Liberty, Libertas, or about Libertas, liberty from God, uh, the Father. Uh, those, that, those are the rays of the sun because the Antichrist is going to look like the real Christ, if possible, the very elect would be deceived. Okay, so that is the Statue of Liberty is actually Apollo, Apollo on Revelation 9 11, the angel of the bottomless pit. Okay, and you have all these diverse uh, people, you know, I'm sure probably a lot of LGBTQ. Plus, um, it is what it is, you know, black, white, different ethnicities, different countries, cultures, they're all being brought together, okay, and you have the, uh, their Messiah bringing everybody together, world peace, remember the Holy Bible says when you're peace and safety, you know that, know that death is coming, no war and death and the tribulation is coming, okay, the man of perdition will be revealed, all right, so that's just what I see, like instantly, uh, I could analyze this for a long time. Uh, it's not a very high quality image, so it's hard to zoom and get high quality. But anyways, let's go back to the, so this is the original, okay? Now remember, Leonardo da Vinci was illuminated, okay? Uh, in the occult, knew the mysteries, so you have this Jesus figure. Jesus wasn't his name, and we know Jesus wasn't his name. There was no J in Hebrew. And I just saw this the other day, and I've heard this uh, time, times before. And uh, this gentleman or this person was saying, if you were walking with Jesus and the apostles and the disciples said, hey, Jesus, he wouldn't even look back at you because he wouldn't even know you were talking to him. He maybe would. He probably, you know, he's the son of God. He was God's son, so he might know, but he'd be like, hey, my name's not Jesus. <laughs> All right. um, so you have the apostles, and I've never really analyzed this. You know, um, I do understand that they say the person on the right, see, because there's only, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, then you have the Christ figure in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And then I don't know who this guy is. <laughs> Alright, the guy in the black shirt. I think that was probably added. But I uh, see so you have one, two, three. Don't pay attention to the guy in the black shirt. I didn't notice that when I was watching it. So you have six and six. And then you have the Christ figure. So there's 13 people. Okay. At the Last Supper. Okay, so remember polarity, duality. 
The Antichrist is going to look like the real Christ, and if it were possible, the very elect would be deceived. So remember, if you look at some of the thumbnails on this video, uh, I go into this in detail in a lot of my videos, but the serpent is polar. Uh, he, Satan is electromagnetic. EM is 33. And E rotated is a 3, and an M rotated is a 3. You can flip and invert uh, letters, symbols, uh, but they still mean the same thing. So EM is 33 because electromagnetism is part of Satan's image. And, and uh, the serpent is also part of his image, just like light and oscillation is part of the Father's image. Okay, and Adam and Eve were part of the Father's image. And the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the true Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yahusha, or the Word, is part of the Father's image. Okay, but anyways, so it's blue and red. Remember, it's duality. Male and female created them. The red is the male and the blue is the female. Okay, so Leonardo da Vinci, when he painted this, he was actually drawing the Antichrist. Okay, and... Uh, I lost my train of thought. So much to say. Okay, yes. Also, in the book of Revelation, it said that he he had he uh, had a face like the sun, and he had hair like lamb's wool, right? And his feet were like burnished bronze or brass. Okay, so we understand that the uh, the 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 true Christ, at least the one spoken of in Revelation, is giving us a short-haired uh, Christ figure that is dark-skinned that had hair like lamb's wool. Okay, so the, so Yahusha being of the tribe of Judah, and what I understand that the, the, the Christ figure of the tribe of Judah, well, he would have been dark skinned, would have short hair like lamb's wool. Okay, not this. This is a white skinned, long haired uh, Christ figure. Remember, they turn everything upside down and esteem as potter's clay. They call bitter sweet and sweet bitter. And do you think that Satan would, he, they, he doesn't want you to let you know his name? What he looks like, they turn everything upside down steep as the potter's clay, and he deceives the whole world. So you have all these people, right? And a lot of people say that's a woman, like it's Mary Magdalene, okay? So where are the other apostles? There's one apostle missing, okay? There's, there's an apostle missing. Maybe it's him, right? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's the apostle. Maybe it's Judas. Who knows, right? But, uh, and there are two Judas's, by the way, but anyways. Well, so, we have Leonardo da Vinci painting this, and this is what they give to the world, and the world accepts this. Remember, uh, once you see or hear something seven times, you just start to believe it as truth, right? So everybody's like, during the Olympics, right? So that's not the real Christ. That's not the Father's Son right there, Right? And it says in the end that this Christ figure will rise, and if were possible, the very elect would be deceived. There are going to be people in churches, family members, and if you are truly saved and you hear from the Spirit of the living God, you're going to know who the man of perdition is. He's going to be revealed, but many people are going to fall for it, even people in your family, your friends, the ones who aren't saved and aren't hearing from the Spirit of the living God, and then you're going to be persecuted, okay? It's that. It's the same thing. This is just the modern day version of this because that's not what it was. Okay? They turn everything upside down. Stephen is Potter's Clay. It's the 33. They mock God. Okay? This is the serpent's Messiah. It's male and female. Okay? I actually remember uh, I either I watched this video, it was posted by this person, uh, and I remember I was led to it because this person had watched a video on uh, Project Reality. And he was basically saying, like, Jesus was a transgendered woman, uh, this and that, or, you know, a man who was transgender and came down here. And I'm like, dude, like, you, you're, you're in these secret societies and they're teaching you a bunch of crap and they're indoctrinating you, too. You're being hewn, cut and hewn. That way you're not going to make it to eternal life either because the fallen don't want you to make it either. Leviathan's going to eat you too. A lot of these people in the secret societies, they're being lied to because Leviathan's going to eat them when he's done using them because he hates everybody. Black hole don't stop. If we're, you know, it says there'd be no flesh left, Leviathan's going to eat everybody. He possibly can. Even his own serpent eats his own. It's, you know, that's why the serpent eats his own tail in every aspect, in every dimension. But, uh, so they give you this Christ figure and uh, everybody's arguing, saying, how could you mock Jesus Christ? How could you mock God, God's son, you know? And, like, this is causing a really big thing. And uh, my family members tell me about it. And I'm like, oh, dude, I could already see this. 
But the thing is, is this the same thing? And that's not even the real Christ. That's the Antichrist. That's the red and the blue. That's the male and the female. This is a cult Masonic doctrine. And these are the people who are going to your 501c3 churches that are religious, they don't have the spirit of the living God, who are arguing about this stuff. Because if they knew the truth, they would understand that that was never the true Christ anyway. This and this are the same thing. I don't see a difference. I don't see, there's no difference. It's the same thing. That's not the Father's Son. What's that guy doing? Throwing the 55? Is that Hiram Abiff's uh, name in numerology? The Antichrist? Right? Is that the 55? What's that? Is that the golden sun back there? And, you know, I've never even truly analyzed this. I've never felt led to. You know? There's probably a ton of symbolism here, and I'm probably not. I'm probably going to miss tons and tons of it. But you got a lot of blue and red. You know, you got this disciple here that looks like a woman. It's probably Mary Magdalene, right? And they said, a lot of people say, well, it's just a feminine looking man. It looks like a woman to me, right here, the one in the middle. You know, maybe Leonardo da Vinci put that in there on purpose, but then we're missing an apostle. Because there were 12 apostles that were men, right? Right? So you have some Dos Equis right there, some X's and X's, right? Dos Equis makes that square compass and some diamonds. Okay, see it right there in the middle. Just rotate your phone uh, 90 degrees, clockwise or counterclockwise. You have a bunch of Dos Equis and diamonds. Okay. You got a, I mean, you got a, you got an arch or a dome over the doorway. Uh, you could say that's Jackina Boaz with the arch over it. You could say that, you know, stretching a little bit, maybe, maybe not. You know, uh, but just, long story short, the whole world's been deceived for so long, there, there's there's really not much truth out there that's gonna be given to you by, the by you know, uh, academia, by, uh, you know, there's not going to be much truth out there in the world, okay? And this painting right here was done by an illuminated individual. And I believe from the research I've done and the discernment that God's given me that this is actually a... Oh, that's his name, Cesar Bourgeois. Cesar Bourgeois was Leonardo da Vinci's uh, lover, and it was a man. Leonardo da Vinci had a male lover, and that this was the portrayal of him. So it's mockery. They're giving you a, a picture of a homosexual man that is the exact opposite of what the Christ figure, the Father Son, actually looks like as stated in the book of Revelation, having dark skin and having short hair like lamb's wool. Okay, and that is the blue and the red representing the male and the female, the serpent created in Genesis 1. Okay, that is the Antichrist. That right there is the Antichrist. That right there is the Antichrist. It's the same thing, people. He deceives the whole world and my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. See, and when they did this, they understood that they, see, they're mocking everybody because both sides are wrong. You have one group that thinks they're right and one group that thinks, you know, like, they're like, how could you mock God? How could you mock him? Like, you're mocking the picture of the Last Supper. I'm like, that's not even, that's not the Father's Son. That was always the Antichrist. That was always the serpent. It's red and blue. It's male and female. It's the sun and the moon. It's the serpent. That is the Messiah of the serpent race. The That is the Antichrist right there. It is what it is. And when you look in the sky and the waters above, there is a thing called the sun that they worship. Okay? And that is at the center the sun and the moon. Look at the Christ. It's the sun, red, blue, moon. Okay? And then you have the zodiac. And those are the knights of the round table. Those are the fallen. Those are the principalities, the rule over this world. Okay? And that is the sun god. See? There are 12 zodiacs or 12 gods of the zodiac 
Okay, 12 constellations in the zodiac. Those are the those are the principalities. Okay, and that's the sun god. Because Lucifer said he would ascend to the heights of the north, he'd be like the most high, and we got cast into the abyss. He made a mirrored replica of the most high's creation in heaven down here in the abyss. That is why the sky is blue, and that's why it gets dark outside, because we're in the abyss. And the only light is coming from Lucifer and her son, Tammuz. And that is the North Star. Okay, that is the head of Leviathan. Okay, those are the Knights of the Round Table, the Zodiac, because this is all mystery, religion, occult. These people know that this is Lucifer's creation or in the abyss. Okay, and that is the Sun God in the middle. Those are the principalities in the waters above. Because he mimics and mocks the truth. Come to Project Reality. There's a lot of truth on this channel. I believe it can open your eyes to a lot of things and a lot of truth that you may otherwise never, uh, you know, uh, understand or may or have revelations on. Or you know, it will bring to light a lot of things that are in darkness in your spirit. Pray and discern everything I tell you. I'll be judged on my, my actions and my words. But this is the mockery. This is the mockery. I bet this has caused millions and millions and millions, if not billions and billions and billions of people arguing and fighting and getting all butthurt on social media. People have probably gotten in fist fights, I imagine, somewhere in the world. And it has probably divided family members and all kinds of things. I can only imagine. And the thing was is that they were lied to from the very beginning because that was never the father's son to begin with. God bless you all in the name of the true Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the father's son. Until next time, this is JT. Goodbye.